In this video, we are going to study sandstone under microscope. Here you can see framework grain and matrix. Framework grains are the larger solid particles or mineral fragments that make up the primary structural and textural element of a rock. They are typically the most abundant and prominent components of a rock. Matrix is the fine grain mineral that fills the spaces between framework grains in a sedimentary rock. It is often composed of similar uh, smaller mineral grains uh, or other fine grain materials. Here most of the framework grain are quartz. You can identify quartz by its wavy extinction and first order uh, yellow to grey color under crossed polars and colorless appearance, low relief, absence of cleavage under plain polarized light. Their matrix are also uh, made of quartz which has similar properties uh, but in small grain size, seal size. There you can see clay cement uh, which is e light. You can identify it uh, by shiny illuminous border uh, around the grain. Cement is the material that fills the pore spaces between framework grains and may also bind them together. These are the clay e light cement. You can uh, see different type of lithograms like shell fragments or silt stone or, or chart or quartz, mica, tectonites, etc. You can also observe grain contact type. You can find point contact, long contact, and concave or convex contact. Point contact is formed under deposition condition, but long contact formed uh, due to compaction pressure. Concave or convex contact is indicating that rock undergone uh, physiochemical diagenesis. Suture contact uh, indicating that uh, the rock undergone huge pressure. Here uh, you can see a uh, feldspar, what you can identify by its colorless appearance and low relief under plain polarized light and lamellar twinning uh, or cross edge twinning or curl spell twinning under cross polar. Or if you see cross edge twinning, you can uh, say it is microcline feldspar. If you see lamellar twinning, you can say it's albite. Here you can see um, albite or lamellar twinning. This parallel line are called albite twinning. So it's a plagioclase feldspar. This is another thin section of uh, sandstone, uh, but uh, here cement is ferrugenous cement which you can identify by its reddish dark brown color. Now you can see another thin section of sandstone. Here uh, cement is calcareous cement. You can identify calcareous cement uh, by its uh, colorless appearance uh, with traced of rhombic cleavage under plain polarized light and variegated color under crossed polarized light. Here red dye is used so that you can identify calcareous cement very easily. Also observe grain contact porosity permeability uh, of the rock uh, to understand the, its reservoir quality. If that rock has enough pore space and permeability, you can say it's a good reservoir rock. Here you can see pore space is mostly filled up with matrix and also cement. It has less porosity and permeability. So we can say it's not a good reservoir rock. You can also I estimate the percentage of framework grain. For example, quartz 65%, lithic grain 10%. We observe the uh, whole slide under microscope and then uh, we I estimate the quartz percentage or lithic grain percentage. Then add all the framework grain percentage. For example, here is 80%. Then convert each uh, 
percentage of uh, mineral grain into uh, 100%. In that case, quartz is 81.25%, lithic grain is 12.5%, and feldspar is 6.25%. Uh, so then plot it uh, in triangular dra uh, diagram, uh, which is called QFL diagram. Here, uh, quartz is 100%. On the opposite side it is zero percent here feldspar is hundred percent on the opposite side it is zero percent after plotting you can see the result here we can say it is sub lithic adenite that's all for today hope you like this video this video seems helpful to you please like and subscribe earth detective and also visit our youtube channel where we uploaded lot of videos based on earth science we also organized the videos in playlists based on topics. Feel free to explore and suggest us what you want to learn. You can also check description for links of our social media, website for resources, PowerPoint file and further discussion. Thanks for watching.